everybody and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here in Universal Studios, Florida, and we're going to be checking out the Tribute Store. It's themed as like a comic book kind of vibe thing going on. I don't really know what to expect because I haven't seen anything about it. So we're going to take you guys inside and check out one of my favorite things to do here at Universal, the Tribute Store. So let's stop talking about this. Let's get in there and check out all the cool stuff. Let's go! Yes. Strange Tales. They got, what is that, little B-side adventures. And look at all the monsters back there. I can't wait. Oh, it's a holiday. Uh, uh, a holiday. <laughs> a holiday Earl the Squirrel. This looks cool. A Halloween Horror Nights mystery game. Ooh. All right, this is gonna be awesome. Let's go inside and check it out, guys. Let's go. This is great. Oh, look at that. You got Kong, the Phantom of the Opera, all the goodies. That is so cool. And this is old school masks for monsters. Look at that guy. I kind of like that mask. Which one do you like? You like you like this guy. Yeah, of course. And this is maybe for my morning coffee. I love that it's always like right. When you walk in, you're not even really in one of the rooms yet. They just already have it themed. Look, you Jack. got Jack up there. Wow, that is so cool. You pull masks and then comics for all ages. Ooh, I like that one right there. Rhyme of the Corn. I bet these are all bestsellers. I mean, this guy, he just makes you want to go in. All right, let's check this out. I guess this is called Grave Consequences. Wow. This always a vibe, man. Look at this. If you've never been in a tribute store, you need to check it out. They really do go, they go above and beyond. Wow. These are horrifying. Look at this. That is crazy. This tribute store is just incredible. The amount of detail that Universal puts into each of these tribute stores always blows my mind. Super astounding, a lot of detail, man. They just get it right. Don't forget, they have exciting items for the whole family. Look at this. And now, I love this shirt. They have a... <laughs> yeah, I can't really tell. No, but... Uh, this is a shirt that, this is the back, and I really wish it was the front, because it's got Little Boo. I love Little Boo, and they've really embraced quite a bit. It is the Little Boo area. You got like the little fake plants, which are new. I haven't seen those. The hats they had last year, uh, but this bag is awesome. It's super cute. Isn't that cute? And look, and it has a little it's wallet. got like yes, a little wallet with a uh, with a crow or a raven. I'm not sure uh, if it's a crow or a raven. Back, in the back, but I'm 75. Five. Really like this shirt right here. It's 75. But it's like bleached. The design on it is just awesome. But if you want to be cool, you know you. You gotta get the bag to go with it. Look at that thing. Wow. That is crazy cool. That is hardcore, man. That is straight up hardcore. Now we're making our way to the next room. I guess it is the private investigation. And they they have that like uh, is it Frank Miller I think? Kind of black and white thing going on. This is awesome. Look at this, man. Straight up comic bookie. Look at that. So cool. 
It always amazes me how they uh, can u utilize pain to give it that look, man. Look at the rain. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. Crazy cool. And I gotta make sure I don't miss this huge creature here. Look at that. Dude, that is sick. I just noticed that. Like, they got the rain obviously coming down. But look at this. There's rain on the floor. Are you kidding me? That's, that's so cool. Over here, we've got the private detective. His desk. Seriously, though, like, I gotta learn how to, like, utilize paint and stuff like that to give it that, like, cartoon, comic book type look. So cool, man. I'd say they nailed the comic book vibe to a T. Well, Mr. Shuster, here we are. This, this is it. Now that is scary. And they have one of my favorite things as well, the blow molds. And this looks like, is that the Bride of Frankenstein? Eight dollars, these are always super fun. So I just showed you, it's, you know, like a little uh, clip from the, the comic book, I guess. Did you just find a mug? This mug is so cool. It has so much detail. That mug. Look at this. And I heard and inside. Yeah, look at that. It's in the inside. It's in the inside of the upside down or something it's like so that. Cool. Look at this. That is a nice mug. And you noticed this and you said it kind of resembled uh, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Me so much of Beauty and the Beast, but not. But it's Stranger Things, and, and I'm, a, I'm a, like at a loss because I cannot remember them being. From the last, uh, last season, I think. The last. I yeah. the last, the last yeah. I gotta go back and watch it because I don't really recall them. I have to admit, I like this room better than the other one. Not saying the other room is bad or anything. I just like this it's so much, so much cool detail in this one. We've left that room, and now we're in the Tribute to Terror Hallway of Fright. Now this is where you can pay money to get your face. Yes, so you can actually be on uh, on the wall on a uh, comic book. This is too funny, man. One of these years, we're going to have to do this. Yes. We really are. Because it's cooler than what I thought. They're, they're very cool. And I guess they send them to you after uh, after the tribute store is done. But they've got a gigantic wall. I think everybody was into it this year. We're in the next room. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's wearing my hat. <laughs> that dude's wearing my hat. Zombie in the moment. I like it. So cute. I guess Tuesday, right? So here we've got all of your goodies. You got the demon bat slayer. Look at that. It's a, a cake jar, I guess. Oh, I have one. And these little cookie balls. Look at that. And Queen, of course, she was like, "Show this to Show this." Wanna play? Oh, that one's cool. Oh wow. We gotta go right down here. Whoop. <laughs> Not too close, Drew. Not too close. Bloody brain. Oh cheesecake. that looks so gross, but that's hey, that's uh that's Halloween horror night for you. And what's the one that is? That is a coffin brownie. Oh, 
little boo cookie. Oh, and they got the cat cookie. They all look good. Also have a Chucky Good Guy doll. You're gonna have to pay for it though. Six fifty for that. It's huge though. That's gotta be like three feet tall. They got a really nice mug. Look at the handle. I realized that Universal makes the best handles for mugs. Straight up. Straight up the best handles. And your Chucky Halloween Horror Nights t-shirt. That is cool. 33 bucks for that. And a lunchbox to put all your uh, all your treats in. Yeah, your table ready, huh? The table's ready, but they sat me with this guy. I don't think I'm hungry anymore. I'm not eating that grilled cheese. It looks good though. Yeah, but I'm not eating it. <laughs> this guy's making a mess all over the table. Yeah, I know. Let's go, Drew. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I just realized that this guy, his name is Jim. Jim doesn't look so, uh, so healthy. Maybe it's the food that they're serving here. Maybe that's why he doesn't feel so good. And they also have another one of the blow mold, resin molds, whatever you want to call them. They got the mummy. That's kind of cool. Eight bucks. I'm telling you, these are always fun to get. What do you got there? Oh my god, this is a cute little Hello Kitty Chucky. A little Hello Kitty Chucky. Hello Kitty Chucky. Hello Kitty Chucky. Hello Kitty Chucky. <laughs> That's what it is. Wow, they got pins. Look at the pins. Thank you. She got a jersey. Wow. They've got a spirit jersey. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I hope Queen, are you paying up? He's taking a long time. He is taking a long time. Uh -huh. I mean, he's I'm taking such a long time. Look at this guy. I don't want him down. Like he's, been waiting. he's been waiting a very long time. <laughs> Jim's Diner. That is so freaky. All right, here we go into the next room. So I guess we we're just reading. This is supposed to be 1888 London. The eyes of the river. The little cat. It's like I'm not having it. And apparently, that must be Jack the Ripper. That kind of has uh, Nightmare Before Christmas type windows. So they got reward posters up. Now, I didn't know Terry Galliott was uh, in London in 1888. Terry, they're looking for you, buddy. This is a very cool room. Very spooky vibe going on here. And look at this shirt. You got the traveling oddities. This shirt right here, 30 bucks. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's cool, man. That is very cool and very spooky. Traveling on it. With the music, I know. I'm getting scared. Here's your Stranger Things, the Hellfire Club. Right? I know, I can rock a jean jacket. This shirt, I love it. Very cool. Look at that. Oh, and like the, Yeah, I was gonna say, the little fire is like shiny. Oh, and his, and his face is shiny too. And a very, very cool backpack. That's hardcore, baby. You know, just looking at merch, enjoying ourselves, and then this guy shows up. Look at him. I know. <laughs> that would be scary, but he's got a rocket. Look at that goatee, man. He, he's rocking that thing like nobody's business, but... I don't trust him, though. I don't trust him either. He's a little sketchy. Yeah, I say we move on from him. I know, and I love these windows. And Jack the Ripper finally came out of the shadows. And he's standing right up there. He's waiting. He's waiting and menacing with a big full moon in the background. And I love this. I believe this is like a little uh, King tribute to the Dead Coconut Club that they have in City Walk. That would be my guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they have your 
Halloween tribute store. Gold doubloons. So you got Vecna, the Hellfire Club, Chucky, of course, Queen would want that one. And Little Boo! Look at it. I like gold. I think I say that every time I see these. <laughs> got gas prices hit new high. Look at this. Uh oh. And it looks a little dirty. And I think this whole newsstand. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's been lacking uh, a little attention. Look at. <laughs> I don't think I want to buy any types of candy from this newsstand. Yeah, really like and no so. refunds. <laughs> All right, everybody, that's going to do it for the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you get a chance to come check out the tribute store. I love the tribute store. I know. It's just a funner thing to do in like the holidays. It is, or any time that they have the tribute store, though. Like, it's one of my highlights of coming to Universal because it's like. It's like a little theme within the theme park, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I love when they do like the Halloween and Christmas. It's special. Halloween, Halloween it's for me. It's a tradition too. It you is a tradition. You always have to go and visit them. Every single time, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you hit that subscribe. Hit the like, boop the like, as we like to say on the channel. Uh, and we also want to thank all of our Patreon members. Guys, thank uh, you. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. And uh, guys, till we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. In the moment, guys. In the moment. See you next video. Happy Halloween.